Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I'm here today to do my uh, uh, my chili extract chili review. This is Jason Callen's chili extract chili uh, crock pot chili review. And I had an extra little bit of extra time before going to work today. I thought I'd just do a little story about the ingredients and then I'll do the review when I get home from work tonight and just edit it all together. And basically, this was in a crock pot. And I used a Surefine hamburger. I used uh, a can of Great Value whole tomatoes. I love using whole to at least one can, big can of whole tomatoes in my chili. I used two cans of Trappies because I didn't know Trappies made beans. Trappies uh, jalapeno kidney beans. I used uh, to be a little different. I used two cans of Trappies hollow pinto pinto beans with bacon. I used two cans of that. I used two cans of uh, with Hunt's diced tomatoes. I used a can of Great Value uh, tomato paste, a little bit of thickening agent, you know. I used two red onions. I used the chili extract that was the 100,000 Scoville unit, I mean, not 100,000, 800,000 Scoville unit uh, Satan's Blood, which I did a review of. And I want to say, be careful, and I was careful. You got, I mean, you have to really respect that stuff, or you're really going to. You don't want to add so much that you can't take it out. Because when, just like adding salt to anything, you uh, you can add as much you want, but you can't take it out once you add it, you know. I didn't add any salt. Uh, but I added, a, I added some of that chili extract on there. And I added uh, one can of the great value of the Walmart brand uh, Italian stewed tomatoes. I love stewed tomatoes. Canned stewed tomatoes. And I let I started making this yesterday at three in the afternoon, around three in the I assume I can't remember that time. Put it all together, and then at six o'clock I forgot to add to uh, put the onions in. I put onions in, and I let it cook overnight at on low heat. I got up today. I looked at it. It looked really good. I put it on warm. And uh, it should be enough to last me all week, which would be good. It would be nice because I come home and I won't have to cook. I just have to, you know, just reheat it in the microwave, you know, when I refrigerate the leftovers. And I like leftovers anyways. So, uh, anything else? I think that's about it. You know, I just mean, usually I let it cook overnight. I just want to, I usually would... One thing when I used to make, I used to leave it overnight on, on high heat and then end up burning, so I don't do that. I just put on low heat, low and slow, you know. So I'll be back tonight after work. Hopefully it'll be all right with uh, my review of it. And uh, stay there. And, uh, stay with me, and I'll do the, uh, I'll be back tonight. I'm rambling. It's early in the morning. I'm tired. Uh also, I had like two, I had like about a bowl and a half uncooked last night because I didn't want to, you know, I I like checking on stuff like that. I did have a little bit. It was, it was pretty good, but tonight will be the official taste testing. So, see you then. Hey, I'm back from work. Work was all right, but the last two hours ugh, were awful. So, I'm going to try this out now. This is my, uh, I was thinking of a name to call this, and this is called Jason's, uh, Jason Callen's Chili Extract Crock Pot Chili. That's what I'm calling it. Right there. I'm going to swing it down, and I'll give it a shot. And I got a pop right here, too. I got a drink, too. Really good. It's hot heat. Uh, he what I just took it out of the crock pot. Mm. It's good. And there is heat. I like uh, equivalent to like maybe the goat pepper grill. There is heat. From that, um, the chili extract. But, I mean, I was very careful. I mean, I might be getting some hot. I mixed it, I put it in, I mixed it all up real well. 
I did put uh, more than a drop of that stuff in there. I drizzled it in there. I mixed it up, and it tastes delicious. It's fantastic. And I probably have enough uh, leftovers for a while. So that's good. That's another plus. So I give this, I think it's delicious. Let me try another bite. Hmm. We'll probably give us a 9 out of 10 for Jason Callens. Chili extract, crock pot chili. So until next time, everybody, please take care of my lead. And like I said, this is a good additive. They said use it as a food additive. That's why I did. I mean, it's going to last me a long time, that chili extract. That stuff's hot. But this is really delicious. And it's a little healthier because I'll be getting my share of vegetables, too. There's lots of beans and carrots and onions. In, I mean, not carrots, tomatoes and onions. In, so. Hmm. Fantastic.